The following is a 6.40 a.m. The Mix presentation. The President Thomas, FCC, AM, FM, CB Radio, First FM Radio, certified in the U.S., coming up next. All right, welcome back to 6.40 a.m. The Mix, and today's video is an unboxing and quick review of the President Thomas, FCC, AM, FM Radio, uh, first uh, FM uh, certified uh, CB radio for the U.S. market. So we're really excited to have this radio uh, just came in. So we're going to do an unboxing and uh, we're going to put it through its paces, give it a quick review, see what we think of it, uh, uh, first impressions. And then hopefully after that, uh, we'll dive into the menus and because uh, it has a lot of features of a modern day radio as opposed to your old school CB. So it might be something uh, something uh, you might want to add to uh, the flock of uh, CB radio. So it's, uh, it's going to be an unboxing review of the Thomas FCC AM FM radio right here on 640 AM The Mix. Welcome back to 6.40 AM The Mix, and this is the unboxing and quick review, initial assessment of the President Thomas FCC AM FM radio. A lot of hype about this radio, so I tried to get my hands on one, and I was lucky enough to get one. Uh, more uh, retail outlets are uh, jumping on. Uh, retails anywhere right now from 99 to 109 obviously uh, shipping and handling, uh, so it could be a little bit extra. But luckily, we were able to get one, so let's take a look. Uh, the boxing was uh, uh, sufficient, uh, properly boxed. The box wasn't damaged. As you can see, it's a uh, AM FM 12 or 24 volt, good for the uh, mobile and good, uh, good for a base uh, radio if you want to just go with AM FM. That was one of the biggest complaints, uh, that it doesn't have SSB. And I'm sure uh, future models are going to come out maybe by President or maybe Cobra, uh, we'll see who's first to market with uh, with an all mode. President was definitely first to market with the uh, with the FM, uh, so they uh, struck first. But we'll see uh, who's uh, who's uh, going to be able to come out with that uh, all mode. So let's open her up. Let's see uh, let's see what it's all about. Uh, like we said, 40 channels AM FM. Frequency ranges are uh, 26965 to 27. 405 megahertz. Like I said, the boxing was uh, uh, adequate. Uh, you get your sticker, uh, the manual, pretty decent uh, manual, fixed sized, easy to read. Comes in four languages, so it's a little deceiving. It's not that thick. It's about four or five pages uh, in each uh, specific uh, language. Power supply: 13.8 uh, uh, volts to 26.6 volts. I'm gonna measure it uh, in a few minutes when I get uh, the tape measure. Um, but it's a pretty small, pretty small CB. It's not micro, uh, but it's a, I would still consider it a pretty, uh, pretty uh, small mobile uh, radio. Mounting bracket. You get the uh, microphone mounting uh, cradle, screws. And there's the microphone. It's got a good feel, compact. Fits in the hand pretty decent. Push to talk up and down on the uh, on the mic, and you could also control it uh, on the face of the radio. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Frequency allowance on the transmission plus or minus 200 hertz. Transmission interference. And audio response, 300 hertz to 3 kilohertz in AM, FM. Not bad. Microphone sensitivity, 7 microvolts. Like I said, the, uh, uh, the manual was pretty good. You can freeze frame it if you like. 
take a look at the different section. This uh, this radio comes with automatic squelch control, which I found uh, pretty nice. Uh, as opposed, to, it also has the regular uh, old-fashioned squelch. Turn the knob. You'll see the knob is on the top left corner. There's the face of the radio. The sides for the mounting bracket. Top left controls the squelch knob. You have the microphone pin in the front. What I found nice, it has a great, uh, nice, thick uh, heat, uh, heat sink to dissipate the heat. So you could put this in tight spots uh, with that heat sink. Uh, no built-in fan, though, but the heat sink uh, looks adequate. PL259 in the back. And you got your uh, 3.5 millimeter external speaker. President uh, branded on the top. Nice uh, die cast metal uh, uh, housing cabinet. Sturdy. And let's give it a quick uh, measure here. Five inches across depth of about six inches on the unit seven if you're uh, counting the heat shrink the heat sink I'm sorry the heat sink and uh, let's see the front about two inches so there's there's are the dimensions so like I said 40 channels AM FM 12, 24 volts up and down channel selector on the mic and on the unit. Uh, manual and ASC squelch. Multi-function LCD display. You have multi-colors. You have an S meter. Public address. It has a scan feature. And what I like, it has a talk back. You could hear, uh, hear yourself uh, on the unit itself. It has an a and filter and a noise blanker. F function key. Beep function, Roger beep. It has Vox uh, on the mic, or you can attach another uh, separate uh, Vox on the back of the unit. You can mode switch it in the front, AM, FM. You have uh, its channel programmable on that EMG button. Uh, it comes uh, defaulted to 9 and 19, but you can change it at will. It has a timeout timer and a front microphone plug. And like I said, the external uh, loudspeaking jack. Okay, there you have it. Just a quick look at the President Thomas FCC AM FM radio. We're going to be doing more with the Thomas in future videos. Maybe a range test, we'll see. Leave comments below. Tell us what you like to see with the uh, Thomas FM radio. And we like to pat ourselves on the back a little bit here at 640. We were the first on the scene back in August when the uh, FCC first authorized FM on the CB band. And we were first to predict that President Electronics would be first to market with the Thomas, the first FM radio uh, specifically marketed for the United States. And we're first on the scene with the initial unboxing and quick review of the Thomas uh, FM radio. So like and subscribe. Leave comments below. And as always, we'll catch you next time right here on 640 AM, The Mix.